it's feeding time and I'm going to invite you guys to come with while we feed some of our animals. Welcome back. It's feeding time and I'm going to invite you guys to come with while we feed some of our animals. As you can hear, she is very excited to get her breakfast and I would really like it if you guys come with to see what we're feeding today and how we do it. Hello, Nuna. I know. I know. Go, 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 go. So this is our two warthogs and our one bush pig, but it's going great with them. They have formed their own little love triangle. As you can see, they are currently in love with their porridge. It's basically just a porridge that is designed for pigs and they're very fancy because we have to mix it with milk for them. Lukewarm, that's how fancy they are. So it's Gordon Ramsay style main cuisine meal. And then the bush pig, we top her food up with freshly cut carrots and sweet potatoes. When you look at Nona over here, you can actually see she's standing on her knees eating and there's nothing wrong with her. That is actually how warthogs eat. So they go out on their knees because it brings their face closer to the grass and she really loves eating her porridge that way and then she'll try and push Sally away to get a last few crumbs of, um, of food. They get fed three times a day and this is only for another month or two. We are waiting for our much needed rain to come. And then once the environment starts improving and we have more natural grass growing, we will be able to scale down on the amount of times we feed them. And then they will make their way out onto our pre-release camp. And then eventually they will go out and meet new warthogs and new bush pig on Shamari. So this is our Stenbocki, he is one of our new arrivals and he's been with us now almost about a month. He's now four months old in total and um, we're slowly starting to wean him. It sounds very early but out in the wild the moms actually start weaning their babies from almost even two months old. He's a bit of a feisty boy, he's very particular on who gets to feed him so obviously it makes my life very interesting. I don't know why, but after feeding, he has this thing to suck on my shoes and then run around my legs. The people who found him started to raise him for up until about two and a half months. And they just felt it was better to send him to a rehab center where we can finish his rehab program and then obviously just release him out onto the reserve. His tiny little horns are already peeking through. So it's really amazing to see how his behavior and his natural instinct is already showing through at only almost four months old. So after he's had his bottle, he usually, not always, has this little play fight that he wants to do with me. 
and it's getting quite painful now because he sometimes hits me with his little horns after he's done this whole thing then he'll go out he marks his territory and his natural instinct is just it's there which is really amazing to see So as you guys can see, the, the buffaloes, they've grown quite a lot. We have Lulu, Petunia and then Cedric drinking out of his bowl. It's going really good with him. We're so happy that we have three buffaloes together. As um, this really helps with taking out any identity problems. They know their buffaloes, they like each other's company. They still receive three bottles every day. And Lulu, he's a very strong drinker. Cedric over there, he prefers his milk out of a bowl and we will keep them on milk up until about nine months old and then slowly we will start their weaning program and then they will make their way out onto our pre-release camp. We still have about five months left of bottle feeding twice, three times a day until we will slowly reduce the amount of times we feed them and then slowly get on to their weaning program. She's been separated from her buffalo friends. She has received another uh, sable friend, I call her Duchess. She is full of character and you can see that she's still drinking as strong as ever. Ntombi, she is about four months old now. So that means she has another five months left of milk until we will wean her. After we finish our program with Ntombi, she will go back to the reserve where she came from. Okay, so now I must feed the other one, which means I have to keep her occupied. So Duchess, uh, her name pretty much sums up her personality. She does whatever she wants, when she wants, which is also the same case when it comes to feeding time. <laughs> so usually what we do is we put her bowl in front of her and then we leave it because she decides when she wants to drink. <laughs> 